beautiful place. We saw some beautiful places today, huh? It's a beautiful country up in the Andes Mountains. And, uh, you know, people leave us alone. Nobody bothers us. I mean, really, we have quite an ideal existence. And we have lots of friends all over the world. So even if we do get run out of here, there's so many places we could go. <laughs> so we're not worried. Krishna is taking care. And uh, we have our association, and we're very satisfied in that association. That's the life of a devotee. So do we have any questions? Oh, good. We have a question from Mother Swati. She says, please accept my humble obeisances. I am reluctant to preach even at my level of realization. Wouldn't a better way to help everyone for me be strive to become a pure devotee? Then everyone who will come in association with me will automatically benefit from it. That's true. But what is the association of a pure devotee? Huh? Think about it. If a pure devotee remains silent and doesn't say anything, then a person seeing that pure devotee just takes them to be an ordinary person, and they don't get any benefit at all. Huh? It's just like what we were talking about last night. If somebody looks at a material object as a material thing, then it is material. But if someone looks at it as Krishna's energy to be engaged in Krishna's service, then it becomes spiritualized. Huh? So the same thing is true of the devotee. If the devotee hides the fact that he or she is a devotee, people don't get any benefit from that at all. But uh, if someone makes it obvious, makes it public, makes it uh, a point, makes a point of uh, revealing to others that hey, I'm a devotee of Krishna and uh, you know like by wearing a Harinam uh, scarf or by uh, wearing tilak by uh, chanting the holy name loudly so that others can hear uh, by preaching the philosophy uh, I mean there's so many th ways uh, so many things that one can do to uh, let other people know that I'm a devotee of Krishna and when you do that, then they look at you as a devotee and uh, they have a choice to make. Am I going to offend this person or am I going to serve this person? You see, the devotee forces everyone to make that decision. It's the same as saying, am I going to go to hell or am I going to go to the spiritual world? Huh? Am I going to be a demon or am I going to be uh, an angel? What am I going to do? Huh? This is preaching. This is preaching. Just like we have so many uh, videos on YouTube, uh, 360 videos or something like that. So uh, we get so many nonsense comments of st from stupid people who just make offensive statements. So what's happening there? Well, Krishna uses his devotees to sort people out, see? He doesn't, he doesn't have to appear personally in this world, although he does from time to time to restore the process of religion. But um, he sends his devotees and his servants, and then when other people encounter his devotees, they make a choice. Am I going to be intelligent or am I going to be stupid? Am I going to be good or am I going to be evil? Am I going to serve the devotees or am I going to fight against them? And that determines their destination. See, it's a test. This is Krishna's method. This is why Krishna says when, if you want to know the truth, you have to approach a, a self-realized soul. Huh? Serve him and inquire from him. Self-realized soul can show you the truth because he has seen the truth. He says that in the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So this is Krishna's system. This is his system. Krishna doesn't say in Bhagavad Gita, uh, just curl up in a corner and read this Bhagavad Gita and chant a few rounds very quietly so nobody can hear you. 
and pretend you're an ordinary person and then you'll come back home to me. Uh, he doesn't say that. No, he says, declare it boldly, Arjuna. My devotee never perishes. Die! Yeah. <laughs> See? That's the mood of a devotee. That's Krishna's system. How are people going to, if they want to know the truth, how are they going to find a devotee if the devotees are all hiding? See? That's why he sends his devotees all over the world. What are we doing here in Chile? Huh? It's because if somebody really wants the truth, they can find us. They can come here. If they really want the truth, if they're willing to follow the process. Huh? If they're not willing to follow the process, they, they'll get screened out. Huh? But if they're really sincere, they will, they'll be able to come, get initiation, advance in spiritual life and like that. It's not easy, but it's, it's possible. So the devotees of the Lord, they should make themselves uh, known. And the way they make themselves known is by preaching. And you might say, well, my, my realization isn't perfect, so I shouldn't preach because I might get something wrong. Oh, how could you get it wrong? You just repeat what's in Bhagavad Gita. Huh? Krishna says, Tad vidi paripratena, pariprasnena sevaya, upadeshanti te jnanam jnaninas tatvadarshana. You want to know the truth? Approach this pure devotee. Uh, inquire and render service. That's the system. That's the system. If you just follow Krishna's system, then you get the result. It's not rocket science. You know, it doesn't take a PhD, but it takes courage. You have to take your courage and apply yourself and be willing to be recognized as a devotee, even by people who will insult you, who will argue with you, who will try to deviate you, who will try to pollute you, who will try to make you fall down, who will be envious, who will be rascal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have to be willing to put yourself out for that. And learn to deal with all those reactions. Huh? Because look, we're doing this for Krishna. We're not doing it for ourselves. We're not doing it for our own ego. We're not doing it uh, to have an easy life because it's not an easy life. Uh, it's easier to just hide your head in the sand and make believe the whole issue isn't there and it's going to go away. But, um, well, that doesn't lead anywhere. That leads to back around to another birth in the material world. So it's easy, but it doesn't give very good results. It's harder to be forthright, to be honest, uh, to be perfectly sincere, and deal with the consequences. Uh, that's harder, but it uh, builds character. <laughs> and we want to do that. You know, there's that saying, some British guy said this, I find it's, it's really uh, very accurate. He said that thoughts breed words. Our words breed actions. Our actions make habits. Our habits create our character. And our character determines our destiny or our destination in the next life. So if you want to know how to attain the highest destination in the next life, start with your thoughts. Are your thoughts uh, lined up with Krishna's thoughts? Are you following Krishna's process? Are you saying Krishna's words? You see? Are you willing to be responsible for Krishna's movement? Are you willing to work in Krishna's service and try to spread this knowledge to everyone? Uh, don't be don't be chicken. Don't be shy. Don't hide the fact that you're a devotee. Uh, you're going to have to deal with uh, with this issue sooner or later. So you might as well take a stand on it because you're going to have to. Krishna is going to create the op the uh, the the uh, situation. You'll see. If you don't step up to the plate, Krishna is going to bring the issue home to you and force it. Uh, 
Ananda Vardhan is sitting there going, yep, uh huh, mm hmm. <laughs> he's ex yeah, he's experienced, got the scars to prove it, right? <laughs> but we have to do this because if we allow, let's say there's some people in our life who are non devotees, if we allow them to continue making offenses, this itself is an offense of ours. So we have to flush this out. We have to deal with this. We have to uh, bring it out into the open. And, and either uh, they have to clean up their act or we have to give up their association. Uh, that's the choice that devotees are forced into again and again and again in life. When the people around them uh, do not honor their choice to be a devotee. Because this is an offense. And if you allow this offense to continue, if you allow it to remain, then 